So we're going to be watching Rodgers and Hammerstein Cinderella. Also, um, it's my birthday today. Woo! I mean, I hope I'm uploading this by my birthday. I am a very sprite 25, which means if I live to be 100, I have reached my quarter life crisis. I am literally in the middle of my 20s. Ah, oh, that's so weird. Okay, so uh, funny story. Last year around my birthday, Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella came on to Disney Plus and I was like, which video should I do? Should I do Anastasia or should I do Cinderella? But ultimately I wanted to do Anastasia more last year and I was like, okay, next February, I will do Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella. Today is the day. Today is the day. It's favorites February. This is my favorite movie musical of all time. The diversity, the songs, the costume, the setting, it's just mm, mwah. corny, yes, but whatever, I like it. And if you watch me long enough, you know, if it's a musical, it's a sing-along, baby! <laughs> let's just go into it. Without further ado, let's get started on Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella. Impossible. For a plain country bumpkin and a prince to join in marriage. Woo! Whitney Houston! The legend herself. Impossible. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I have not watched this in so long. Just so I could record this video. The songs, the songs are just gonna come out of me. I actually really like Rogers and Hammerstein. Um, oh yeah. That Peter is my queen. Okay, yes. But anyways, I like Rogers and Hammerstein's um like sound. When I think of musicals, I think of like Rogers and Hammerstein's kind of music. Brandy, Brandy. I believe this movie was like made for TV, right? Imagine if this came out in theaters. Ah, uh, the exposure. And I feel like so many more people would like know about this movie. Not a lot of people know about this movie, and that's that's a shame. That is a shame, because this movie is a goddamn banger. What do you think, mother? How do you think it looks on me, mother? How can a mother choose between two such extraordinary daughters? <laughs> <laughs> the right answer. Does it look better on me? Oh, or me? Oh, I don't think it flatters either one of you. <laughs> I love her. Hey, but like, she's like helping you out though. Like, if it doesn't look good on you, but I mean, if they like it, you do you. The sweetest sounds I'll ever hear are still inside my head. The most entrancing sight of all is yet for me to see. find your love girl you'll find your love i'm not saying these songs in forever actually now that i think about it i used to be obsessed with the uh 2015 broadway revival of rogers and hammerstein cinderella ah, the, prince! the sweetest sounds i'll ever <laughs> bro i cannot sing that low this man is so good looking oh my god and he can sing the kindest words i'll ever know are waiting to be he just went in between this couple and gave her a flower bro mr steal your girl or whatever and the dearest love in all the world is waiting somewhere for me i swear i think i have the same shirt as him the kindest words i'll ever know Said, and the dearest love in all the world is waiting somewhere, waiting somewhere. Girl, there's no fucking way you did not see that carriage. That is your fault. It's like those royals, isn't it? Not caring if they're in anybody's way. Well, I'm sure they were going somewhere very important. I doubt it. So good looking, fuck. But Brandy is also very pretty. She is gorgeous and she still looks really good today. I like to sit by the fire and the cinders fly and my face gets smudged. Ah, cinder, Ella. 
in the original story, they called her Cinderella to like make fun of her. And now she's introducing herself to a stranger like as that mocking nickname. Girl, love yourself. You have to love yourself. I doubt if he has any idea how a girl should be treated. Like a princess, I suppose. No. Like a person with kindness and respect. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Invented feminism? Who? <laughs> But also, girl, he can also treat you like a princess. Person and a princess. Both? Um, that's the dream. Every day the same old routine. Until you just want to run away and, and never come back. Wow. Wow. They just have a common interest, I guess. <laughs> Except one is poor and one is a prince. I hope I see you again, Cinderella. Oh my god, don't even look at me like that! I'm blushing! I'm blushing! <laughs> She was gobsmacked. Did you, did you see her face? I would be too, girl. Me. You saw him get into that carriage? You must know that man is not poor. That man has money. Wow, that's fake as fuck. <laughs> I loved this movie since I was a kid. And I remember this one time, uh, this movie was going to play on like ABC Family at like 7 a.m. or something. And I was like, oh my God. I'm gonna I'm gonna wake up early and watch it and for some reason I didn't go downstairs in the living room to watch it I went into my parents room to watch it on their small ass tv I don't know I don't know I was like six or something my mom woke up and she was like why are you awake and then she saw the movie and she was like oh my god are you watching that because that guy is handsome and I was like no <laughs> mom what are you talking about I I just really love this movie I love the songs. Oh my god. I mean, I I mean, like I love this movie because of the songs and everything, but like it doesn't hurt that he is um a very good-looking man who can sing. Also, how wild is this movie that the king is white, the queen is black, and they somehow made a Filipino son. Like <laughs> isn't that wild? Oh my gosh. I mean, obviously they weren't going for historical accuracies with this. So they were just like, you know what? Fuck it. Made for TV? Nothing has to be accurate. At all. <laughs> Love that chaotic energy that they put in this movie. We think it's time you chose a bride and produced an heir. Someday soon this Me? entire kingdom will I be volunteer. Yours. I can't compete against Brandy. What am I... <laughs> what am I thinking? Guess I have this silly idea that I want to be in love when I get married. That's so silly. Silly goose. Marry for love. That's all we want for you too, son. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. No, it's not. Lionel. <clears throat> Fucking Jason Alexander. They have so many like, uh, would you consider Whoopi Goldberg and Jason Alexander big actors? I mean, they're pretty known. Brandy, Winnie Houston, they kind of stacked this cast, not gonna lie. Margarita is giving a ball. Is giving a ball. The prince is giving a ball. The song is very fun, but I never like, I never memorized these lyrics. I never found myself like singing along, but you know, it's still a head bopper. Uh, Miss Bernadette Peters looking fine as always. The prince is giving a ball. The prince is giving a ball. That fake ass kick. You know that 2021 Cinderella with Camila Cabello that I made a video about a couple months ago? They had like a little courtyard dancing scene like this, but can't even compare. This is so much more fun. Probably because it's like more whimsical and the other one was kind of cringy. <laughs> Okay, go off, Jason Alexander. Damn. I feel like there is a there's a better strategy to doing that that won't involve potentially breaking the champagne. Yeah, look at that. This is so fun. I love this. Sydney, Sydney is giving up. Getting a ball. I think this is like the only thing I've seen Brandy in. I can't say if like the soft voice that she's giving is only in this movie or if that's just how she normally talks. I feel like she like kind of has like a like a lower husky tone of a voice. So I think she's like purposely making her voice like a little higher, a little like innocent, you know? The way she does it is so cute. Oh, Brandy's so cute. I fucking love this movie. But I kept you on here all these years, and this is the- <laughs> How my posture is. Oh, fuck me. It's time to get our beauty rest. We want to be our best for the ball tomorrow night. Kind of rude of the royal family to arrange a ball so short notice. Like, tomorrow night? Trying to weed out the poor people. Stepmother, what is it now? 
Damn. Know your place and be satisfied with what you've got. Well, if my father were alive. Well, he's not, is he? Oh, fuck. Jesus. Cinderella, hot water. Cinderella, warm milk. Cinderella, Cinderella! I'm a smile and a meek as a mouse. When I hear a command, I obey my own little corner in my own little chair. I can be whatever I want to be. I'm a young Egyptian princess or a milkmaid. I'm the greatest prima donna in Milan. I'm a girl, men go mad for love's a game I can play with a cool and confident kind of air. I'm a thief in Calcutta. I'm a queen in Peru. I'm a mermaid dancing upon the sea. Then I'm glad to be back in my own little corner. All alone in my own little chair. Ah, such a fun song. It's difficult to cancel once you got the ball rolling. <laughs> How did he fall from the ladder? Also, it's not even that big of a fall. I love their purple outfits. Although on Victor Garber, it looks like like a night robe. <laughs> I'll go to the ball, but if I don't find her tonight, you'll let me fall in love my own way, with no interference, no matter how long it takes. I suppose, if that's what you want, dear. Thank you. I also find it interesting how they flip the switch and the mom wants him, wants the prince to get married, because usually it's the father who like urges um, the prince to go get married. I don't know if that's like a positive change because I feel like that's very stereotypical of moms to like want their children to get married. <gasps> Wow, well, she <laughs> projecting much? No, let's go over this again. Damn, did you see that slit in the back? Oh, looking good, looking fine. I don't know, is orange the move for a ball? I don't know. Yeah, you would stand out, but I don't, I don't know. I'm going to start with a curtsy. Then I'm going to start with a curtsy too. Goofy ass. Whoever that actress is, the tall white woman, goofy as fuck. I think they cast well because, like, what the fuck? You mustn't let the prince know how clever you are. Men can't stand to be around smart women. <laughs> For heaven's sake, Minerva, stop scratching yourself! Oh my god, me with my eczema. We hide our flaws. Until, Until after, after the, the wedding. wedding. Whatever I'd say, we know in an instant that we were meant for each other. That sounds so romantic. That sound that does sound really romantic. Um, not realistic though. <laughs> this isn't about love. It's about marriage. Ah, her time to shine. Falling in love with love, love is falling is for make believe. Falling, falling in love with love is playing the fool. Just such a juvenile fancy. Learning to trust is just for children in school. This song's kind of sad. Okay, Miss Bernadette Peters, go off. I fell in love with love one night when the moon was full. Love fell out with me. That was her song. Who else could have sang it? No one. Only Bernadette Peters. Why would I want to go to the ball? I'd much rather sit here by the fire. Girl, that's fucking sad. You do not need to lie to yourself. Oh, a little reprise? In the world are poppy cock and twaddle. Winnie Houston looking fabulous. Never dreamed. Fiddly dee, fiddly fiddly foodle. All the dreamers in the world are dizzy in the noodle. That's terrible. <laughs> Try coming up with a rhyme on the spotlight. Why is she so bland? <laughs> the animated sparkles. I love it. It's so 90s. I've always hoped that someone would come and take me away from here. If you want to get out of here, you're going to have to do it yourself. Exactly. You don't know my stepmother. She can't handle how fabulous you are. Fabulous? Me? 
Come on, Brandy. Don't, Don't even fucking lie. Before my father died, I promised him that we'd stay together as a family. This can't be what your daddy had in mind for you, baby. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Whenever characters lie to themselves with staying with like their abusive family or whatever, the wish is like oh, I want you to keep the family together. But obviously her dad doesn't want her to stay and be abused by her family. It's impossible. Ooh, it's impossible, impossible for a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carriage and four white mice can never be four white horses. Such vulnerable and finlady of courses for the world is full of zanies and fools who don't believe in sensible rules. And because these daft and do it I dopes keep building up impossible hopes, impossible things are happening every day. Impossible, 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 impossible. Fun fact, this was my audition song for my high school senior musical. And I got in, so... It wasn't impossible. <laughs> I love these 90 CGI. Oh my God, that's so bad. <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, okay, Brandy. I need a little more emotion from you. Like, can you can you be a little more shocked? Just like in my dream. <laughs> Brandy's stare could not be more vacant. <laughs> The way the gloves just slid down. She looks so pretty! That dress is so pretty on her. Blue is her color. <laughs> Those glass slippers look plastic as fuck. You must leave the ball before the clock strikes 12. Before 12? Look, I don't make the rules. That's some bullshit. <laughs> like, who made the rules? There are no windows in there. A fly could easily just fly into her face. It's possible. For a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carriage It's possible For a plain country pumpkin and a prince to join a marriage For the world is full of zanies and fools Who don't believe in sensible rules And because these daft and dewy I dopes keep building up impossible hopes It's possible Things are happening every day It's possible it's possible, it's possible, it's possible, it's oh, oh my god, that last note is too hard. I cannot belt for shit. Ooh, oh my god, the ball scene? Oh, my favorite part of the movie, honestly. Look at this. With the choreography and everything, and how they're all wearing similar shades of purple. Ah, oh, I love it. I want to be there. Like I've always said in my other videos, I want to be in a ball. I want to go to a ball. I want to wear big poofy dresses like that and waltz. I can't even waltz, but I will do it. I will learn if I can go to a ball. Well, okay, Calliope being the different one that she is, wearing green, good for her. I thought the other stepsister was going to wear orange. What the hell? Me. I would also throw myself at the prince. Naturally, any mother would be eager to see her daughter dance with the prince, but what I would like to know is who is gonna have, to have the honor, honor of, of dancing, dancing with you? <laughs> the girls are sitting pretty. Come on, Jason Alexander. That manly physique, those handsome chiseled features, that wonderful full, full head of, of skin. I know that you felt that certain something between us. You know, I honestly wish there was something between us. Really? Yes. A continent. That was a sick burn, though. Do you have an itch? No, you're. Whoa, he was quick with it. Just did it again. Oh my god, not that ass itching. Excuse me. On the ocean of life. It's, it's poetry! poetry. <laughs> I miss something. <laughs> the library looks like a fucking lamp. I don't think anyone's ever found me funny. <laughs> God damn, girl. What are you laughing at? I don't even think I can make myself laugh that hard. These dresses are so pretty, though. Do you, like, see that sheen on them? With, like, the tulle on top of the dresses and, like, the satin underneath. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> I gotta say, these sets look like, um, like dollhouses. Like, big dollhouses, you know? The outside, like, those steps, 
the outside of the palace, it looks so plastic. <laughs> like, it looks like a dollhouse. All right, now you're on your own. Aren't you coming with me? I got you to the ball. Girl, what do you mean? Your godmother can't go with you? You need to seduce the prince by yourself. This is so fun. I love it. Oh my god. But like, during 10 minutes ago, the ball scene, ah, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Woo. And the lights dim. Spotlight is on her. He is falling in love. Yo. Ooh, silence, pure silence. Ooh, ah, he looks so in love with her. Dude, <laughs> I'm sorry. He looked like he was gonna nut just then. Okay, and then when like the other people join join in on the dance, there's like a particular scene where they like, <laughs> where the like, girls like kind of like break their back. Who oh, is that charming girl? Oh, if I were a young man, I'd... Oh, a little creepy. You know, I have the funniest feeling. I've met you somewhere before. Well, I'm sure I would remember. Girly, how do you not recognize this man? How do you not recognize him? What? He literally looks the same from when he went to the village. Huh? You're very beautiful. You're, You're very beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> Ten minutes ago, I saw you. Looked up when you came through the door. I have found her. She's an angel with the dust of the stars in her eyes. What the fuck? We are dancing. We are flying. And she's taking me back to the skies. I may never come down to earth again. Ten minutes ago, I met you. And we murmured our how'd you do's I wanted to ring out the bells And fling out my arms and to sing out the news I have found her, I have found him In the arms of my love I'm flying Over mountain and meadow and glen And I like it so well that for all I Tell I may never come down again. Ooh. Oh my god, this dance break is so good. They're about to break their back. They're about to break their back soon. Look, yeah, they're breaking their backs. Okay, you can't tell me that this ball scene is not pretty. Come on, come on. And look at their skirts. Oh my god. Dude, that just like scratched something in my brain just now. With all those skirts flying around, oh my. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, look at. Who did, who did the choreography for this? Who did it? Who did it? Amazing. Amazing. Yo, I feel, I feel six years old again. This is giving me so much joy, actually. I kind of wish some of those other women weren't wearing like a similar shade of blue to um, Cinderella's dress. Like you want her to stand out. Why would you have a dress of a similar shade? Just saying, just saying. Why would a fellow little girl like her? She's a frothy little bubble. With a kind of charm. Why can a fellow ever once prefer a usual girl like me? Her face is exquisite, I suppose. Not more explicit than a rose is. So why is the fella going crazy? Why would a fella want a girl like her? A girl who is merely lovely. Why can a fellow ever once prefer a girl who is merely me? What's the matter with the men? What's the matter with the men? The song is like, it's so funny. It's like so clearly a pick me song. Like, yeah, she's cute. Yeah, she's hot and everything you could ever want for <laughs> want from a woman but like what about me like pick me choose me love me i must say it's as though you've appeared here by magic <laughs> her face do we know your mother and father do you oh, i don't think so then you must introduce us where are they well my, my father he well my mother she... i'm sorry will you excuse me that short conversation and she got freaked out i mean 
the stepmother was like right there. So I guess, I guess, I guess. No, no, they were wonderful compared to my family. I want to meet your family. No, you don't. Everyone in your life. No. no oh no. God. Oh, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, bro. Oh my God. Imagine meeting someone, presumably for the first time. And they're like, I want to meet your family. I want to be a part of your family. <laughs> No, 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 no. If I'm going to spend the rest of my life with someone, she's gotta be. Well, she's gotta be exciting. <laughs> I guess. And your devoted servant forever and ever. Ew. Oh, girl. X that one. A servant? No thanks. Wished. You know, the trouble with most people is they sit around wishing for something to happen instead of just doing something about it. Shut the fuck up, girl. You literally just... <laughs> you were doing that before the fairy godmother showed up. May I ask you a question? Will you marry me? Do you think it's possible to meet someone and know in an instant that she's the one? It's very possible. I guess it's possible. I would be freaked the fuck out if some dude said that to me. What? <laughs> I'm not making any sense, am I? Actually, you're making perfect sense to me. Wow, well, just like in the village. Scary. And confusing. This is my favorite song. This one is my favorite out of the musical. Y'all, the way he's looking at her, oh my god. Ooh, the, the R&B beat in the back. This is a 90s film, of course. If I was sung to like this, oh my god. I don't know what I'd do. I don't know. I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> Yo, y'all, I, I, I can't even handle this movie. Or are you wonderful because I want you? hard singing over duets because sometimes they go into like harmonies and I'm like I don't know which note to hit so I'm just gonna do my own thing I don't ever want this night to end neither do I oh dude Ooh, get it girl Ooh, get it <laughs> okay okay chill out with the zooms Wow, she changed immediately, not even past the castle. And she has to run all the way home, bro. I mean, her fault for not checking the time, but still, damn. Fairy godmother can't even like zap her home. Are you the sweet invention of a lover's dream? Or are you really as That was so 90s. That like fade with the two of them singing next to each other. Yo, that's fucking plastic. <laughs> Dude. Oh. oh, this movie's so good. What the fuck? Six year old me was just having the time of her life with this movie. 25 year old me is having a blast. Also, <laughs> sometimes I'm a little snobbish when it comes to like movie musicals and how pop singers don't have like a theater voice to be able to sing these songs. And obviously Brandy doesn't have the theater voice when she's singing these songs. But I don't know, I kind of like, I kind of don't mind it just cause like I love this movie so much. And also it's not like, it's not, this is a made for TV movie. But like, I remember one time in college I showed this boy that I was seeing this movie and I was like, I fucking love this movie. And then by the end of it, he was like, it was okay. I kind of wish that like her singing was better. Like Brandy's singing was better. What the hell? Out of all the red flags that I ignored, that should have been the glaring one. Come on, college me. If my future SO doesn't like this movie, it's over, it's over. It looks that way, the way you say, she talks as if, she knows if you're suddenly confronted by his highness you are frozen like a statue on the stair then you see to hear him asking you to dance when you walked with him you whirl around so that your feet never touch the floor that's right they don't cinderella you're a stupid bitch do not do this in front of your stepmother and your step scissors come on a lovely night a lovely night a finer night you know you'll never see A lovely night A lovely night A finer night you know you'll never see Stars in the haze
praising heaven tremble above you while he is whispering darling i love you and on your lips you keep a kiss all your life you'll dream of this lovely why the thought of you dancing with the prince it's preposterous why is it so hard for you to imagine why why is cinderella suddenly having a backbone my father your father was weak he spoiled you rotten. He filled your head with silly thoughts and dreams that'll never come true. Kind of a bitch thing to say, but uh, I still love you, Bernadette Peters. Father, if you only knew how she's changed, you'd understand. She's changed? I'm pretty sure she's been like that in the inside anyways. Do you really think he fell in love with your fancy gown and your pretty braids? I don't know. She wasn't even wearing braids at the ball. Was she? No, she wasn't. Like It was in an updo with like curls. I mean, I guess if she's referring to when he met her in the village, but obviously Cinderella doesn't know they're the same person. Aww. You may never find her. Don't say that. I will find her. I've got to. <laughs> oh, a little wooden there. It's okay. You got the voice of an angel and the bone structure of a statue. She's, she's different than any other girl I've ever met. <laughs> she's different. She's not like the other girls. Are you making believe you see in her a girl too lovely to be really true? Don't even try that. Don't even try that, mom. No, he does love her. He does because because they met in the village and you know, I don't know, movie magic. All my life, I've been searching for something and I finally found it in her. That's a that's that's a lot to put on a person. He is intense. He is a little too intense. A shoe made out of glass? Who dances in glass shoes? We're going to try this slipper on. You mean the plastic shoe? Dearest love in all the world Somewhere for me Damn, okay, walk up those stairs with your long robe. They can't even shove, like, these extras' feet in there because that shoe would just expand because it's plastic. I just love how it's just like stockings over these feet. Like I'm not seeing bare feet. Thank fucking God. Oh, no, 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 no. Put a sock on it, bitch. Oh, no, 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 no. Put some socks on. Ooh. I really said that too, way too soon. <laughs> the fades of him just staring at these feet. You know, <laughs> without the feet that was just on screen, you would think this is a Nickelodeon <laughs> movie directed by Dan Schneider. Impossible. <laughs> His face when he said that. On the count of three. One, two. Oh my God! She just moaned. Are you certain there's no one else here? Not a soul. <laughs> no one, Your Highness. Not even a servant girl. They're so stupid. And then she's not even there. Take one of my daughters, your highness. I beg of you, Minerva. That girl's as strong as an ox and cultured. Why, she's memorized the record that has been in three languages. Oh, really? That's kind of impressive, actually. <laughs> girl, again? What did you say your name was? Cinderella. That's cute top. Very peasant chic. Oh, man. No! <laughs> I had to see some bare feet again. Oh, true love does exist. Oh, are they getting married right now? Someone wants you. You know who. Now you're hearing something new. Now you're gonna go wherever you want to go. Attempt to do runs. There is music in you. Oh. In you. Damn, 
just ended the movie on a strong high note, courtesy of Miss Winnie Houston. You know what? This movie came out in 1997, the year I was born. It's like it's meant to be or something, I don't know. <laughs> the cast is diverse, I love the costumes. The cast is kind of stacked with like Whoopi Goldberg, Victor Garber, Jason Alexander, Whitney Houston, Randy. I don't think he understands how much of a chokehold he has had on like so many people because of how attractive he is as a prince. Also, I'm so sorry that the whole energy of this video has just been kind of feral for this prince. I'm so sorry. Maybe my mom was right for roasting me that one time when I woke up at like 7 a.m. to watch this movie. I love the soundtrack. I mean, it is sung differently than how it is like on stage. I didn't mind Brandy's voice that much. I can see how people would be turned off by her voice, considering it doesn't really match the tone with the other singers, because I, the other singers are very like theater oriented, aside from Whitney Houston, but she's barely in this movie. This movie is so good. I kind of just like relive my childhood at this moment, and uh, oh man. <laughs> Quarter life crisis where? I don't need to have a crisis when I can watch Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my singing. I definitely feel like my vocal performance this video was not the greatest. I don't know, maybe I'm just like losing my voice or something. I don't know. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you for the next video.